Hey everybody, my name is Mark Williford and I'm a junior art student at Young Harris College and today I'm excited to present to you my semester's work from my Concept Studio class. Concept Studio is a class focusing on conceptual art. The class is organized into four projects. Each project is based on a singular concept that is assigned by the professor. Each concept is usually one word or just a few words. The student's job is then to create art based on the assigned concept. For our first project, the assigned concept was simply the word sacred. In order to avoid religious cliches, I tried to think of something that was sacred to me that might not be sacred to most people or sacred in the sense of religion. When I was in high school, my friends and I were all big skateboarders. Every day after school, we would all meet up behind the local Walmart. It was always our meetup spot for wherever we were going, and we must have spent hundreds of hours there. Even if we were not skateboarding and just had nothing else to do, we would sometimes just hang out there late into the night. For me, and I'm sure lots of my friends from high school as well, Behind the Walmart represented a very important time in our lives and represents a lot of nostalgia for the way that things were. To us, the parking lot behind Walmart is a sacred ground. For this reason, I chose to depict a scene from our high school days when we were hanging out behind the Walmart to represent my sacred project. What you see above is a mixed media oil painting that represents this sacred time in my life. As you can see, there's three of my friends leaning up against a white truck, which is actually my friend's Ronnie, my friend Ronnie's truck, and a third friend approaching them. I tried to create an ominous mood with this painting by using night scene colors that reflect a bit of boredom and angst. Now that you know why I created this, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about how I created it and some of my process. The first thing I did was create a preliminary watercolor sketch that I based off of a few screen grabs from videos that we filmed back there. I then used this watercolor sketch as reference for material for my final project. I then decided to work on a piece of 3x4 watercolor paper. Since the requirement for the project was to include some sort of collage element, I chose to paste down a few pieces of newspaper. The next thing I did was um, do a rough uh, sketch underneath the newspaper before I did my initial wash, which was the first step to my underpainting. After I did a wash with diluted paint, I then finished my underpainting by adding shadows to my sketch with slightly less diluted paint. I then began to block in colors and put down some of the most important information with paint, like the sky, the wall, and the ground, and parts of the cars. To finish my piece, I finished blocking in all of the colors and started adding detail. As you can see, I left some of the newspaper showing in the bottom and the top as a stylistic choice. For our next project, I created this Identity Stills series. The assigned theme for this project was introspection, and I chose to use the genre of still lives to portray the concept of introspection. I created four oil paintings on torn paper, each with their own introspective qualities. When I define introspection, I see it as sort of a consideration of one's own identity. And in this series, I, I strove to depict four different aspects of forming one's own identity. And I did that by adding a contemporary sort of 
addition to a traditional still life painting. Because such a large amount of my work from this semester was oil paintings on torn paper, I'm going to wait until the end of my presentation to show a video that is, goes into detail about my process and how I create my torn paper oil paintings. For my first painting of this series, Youthful Expression, I chose to paint a couple lemons, a vase, and throw in a skateboard truck in the background. The reason I added the skateboard truck is that growing up, I found an identity in skateboarding. To me, this painting represents the way that when people are growing up, they have to find hobbies or things that they're interested in in order to find their own identity. While skateboarding was something that I used to help find my identity, my hopes for this painting were that someone else could see it as a symbol of youthful expression or a youthful search of, for their own identity, whether it be skateboarding or something else. For the second installment of my introspection series, I chose to paint a bottle of wine, a bunch of grapes, and a broken glass. The broken glass in this painting could mean many things, but I intended it to be a representation of um, people's life falling apart sometimes and the struggles that everyone has to deal with in their, their lives. I think that when people think introspectively and look within themselves and try to make sense of their own identity, a large part of it is hard times that they go through and bad things that happen to them and how they react are what makes people who they are. For my th third piece from this series, I chose to paint a couple lemons, an avocado, and a respirator mask. My contemporary addition to this painting that was meant to have an introspective quality was the respirator mask. The reason I included it was to represent how when thinking introspectively, I realized that I have a lot of different masks that I wear in different social situations or personal situations. And I think that it's also something that a lot of people can relate to and that when thinking introspectively, they can see different sides of themselves in different masks that they might wear in different aspects of their lives. For my fourth and final painting from this series, I chose to paint a few tomatoes, a bowl with an avocado, and a phone charger. The phone charger, which obviously does not belong in this painting, is meant to represent our modern society. Because our society is highly influenced by the digital age, I felt that a phone charger was a symbol that could accurately represent the society we live in. I think that when a lot of people think introspectively, something that they might not consider is the influence that their society has on them. This painting to me represents how when people are thinking about their own identity and in their own life, a large part of it is influenced by modern times in the society we live in. Because if we had all grown up in a different society, we might be very, very different than we are today. And once again, please stay tuned at the end of my presentation for a short video detailing my torn paper and oil painting process. For our third project, our assigned concept was social political. When I was thinking about what I wanted to do for this topic, I tried to think about social or political issues that were important to me. Instead of choosing a hot, pressing topic that is constantly on the news, I decided to make my 
project about homelessness, which is something that I've had a lot of thought about and somewhat substantial experience with. When I was in high school and working on my Eagle Scout project, I was required to attain a couple hundred um, community service hours, and my mom has a good friend who works at Must Ministries, and she persuaded me to come work at Must Ministries at the homeless shelter there. So I spent um, every week, every one of my weekends for a few months in a row around homeless people, getting to know them, working with them, and that had a, a big impact on me and opened my eyes to what homeless people's uh, lives are really like. And additionally, I've seen a lot of statistics that really just uh, impacted me, like the 